welcome to the Applied Biosystems Tac Talk video series, where we break down real-time PCR to make it easier for you. It's easy to design an Applied Biosystems TACMAN SNP assay using our custom assay design tool online. But we often hear users asking, do we need to do anything to our target sequence before submitting it to the design tool? Great question. Let's talk about it. The custom assay design tool leverages our advanced algorithms and robust development pipeline to create your assay. To increase the likelihood of designing a highly specific and well-performing assay, you should always prepare your target before entering it into the tool. Let's look at the different steps you should take to prepare your sequence. First, we recommend masking non-targeted SNPs in the sequence that you are submitting. Masking is the process of substituting an N for an existing base. The custom SNP assay design pipeline will not design a primer or probe that spans a maxed base. The pipeline will move upstream or downstream to another area of the sequence for assay design. Why is it important to avoid designing an assay over a SNP that is not your intended target? Assays that have probes or primers overlapping a SNP will hybridize inefficiently when the polymorphism is present potentially producing an inaccurate genotyping call. We definitely want to avoid that. But to increase the likelihood of designing a highly specific and well-performing assay, you should always prepare your target before entering it into the tool. The other important thing to mask in your target sequence is repeats. Repeats are patterns of DNA sequence that occur in multiple copies throughout the genome. Why do we want to avoid designing to non-unique regions of genome? Designing assays for regions that contain repeats is likely to result in non-specific amplification. Remember, we want our assay to detect our SNP in a specific region of the genome. The last step is checking whether your target sequence is unique in your organism of interest. We call this Genome Quality Control, or QC. Using public databases and tools such as UCSC BLAT or NCBI BLAST, you can check whether there are any regions of your target sequence that are similar to sequences in the reference database for a particular organism. If you find any sequences that are similar, you should max those regions with Ns. This will ensure that your assay is only detecting the target region that contains your SNP of interest you don't want to detect other regions in the genome. Thanks for chatting about target sequence preparation. Just remember, by properly preparing your target sequence, you can enhance the performance of your custom TACMAN SNP assay. For more information on the wide variety of applied biosystems custom and pre-designed TACMAN assays, visit our website, thermofisher.com slash TACMAN. Thanks for watching. Check out other Applied Biosystems TACTALK videos on our website, thermofisher.com slash TACTALK.